Hello everyone, I'm Kote. I will tell you nine stories about metformin and maybe it's most important video about metformin you ever watch. Let's start. Metformin is fourth most prescribed drug in USA. It's prescribed as common as amlodipine and paracetamol and such drugs. Um, and most common indication for metformin is type 2 diabetes, type 2 diabetes mellitus. But it's prescribed also for polycystic ovary syndrome, uh, insulin resistance, sometimes for weight loss. Uh, sometimes uh, people intake metformin uh, to prevent long COVID. Uh, we also have some researches about it. Uh, metformin is derived from plant uh, which is called French lilac. Uh, it's such a um, uh, plant and it's toxic. Uh, it contains guanidine and it's toxic. That's why um, this uh, plant was um, modified by, uh, uh, by scientists and we have big one it and now big one it is class of drugs and most common uh, uh, drug from this class is metformin uh, now let's discuss what metformin is doing first and one of the most important is uh, it uh, reduces gluconeogenesis and what is gluconeogenesis? When we eating, we get uh, energy from foods. Uh, we get uh, glucose directly from simple sugars, but we get also proteins uh, and also fats. And eventually they are converted to glucose in liver. Uh, and this process is called gluconeogenesis uh, and liver is doing this but when we intake um, metformin metformin increases uh, ampk uh, ampk is such protein increases this protein we will focus on this protein later so i will not focus it now uh, increase this protein and um, it decreases the enzymes which are which are important for gluconeogenesis. Uh, such enzymes are uh, glucose uh, six uh, phosphatase, for example, and uh, eventually glucose production is decreased by liver. It means it decreases gluconeogenesis. It's important because organism our organism gets less glucose and creates less creates less glucose less glucose it's important so first action was um, reduction of gluconeogenesis second action of in, uh, of metformin is it increases insulin sensitivity now let's explain uh, we have pancreas, you know pancreas, and pancreas is producing insulin. Uh, insulin helps uh, uh, cells. Insulin, uh, insulin attach cell uh, membranes on the proteins uh, receptors, and it helps uh, cells to intake glucose. So, uh, to uptake glucose by cells, insulin is crucial. And sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, cells lose sensitivity towards insulin. And uh, for body, it's difficult to uptake or to get this glucose inside cell. Uh, it, it's difficult without insulin. And if uh, cell loses sensitivity towards insulin, uh, glucose is not uptaked. 
and now what uh, now what uh, metforming is doing netforming and metforming uh, again increases mpk we told we, we, uh, we said about it in case of gluconeogenesis and here also mechanism is mpka uh, ampk it increases ampk uh, and ampk uh, increases number of glucose transporting proteins these glucose transporter uh, proteins are in the cell membrane of cell here and uh, lots of uh, these proteins lots of these transporters means better uh, glucose intake it means that uh, for body it's uh, easy to uptake glucose uh, and uh, it it means also less glucose in the blood and it is called insulin uh, sensitivity so we already have two mechanism of action what metformin is doing first is gluconeogenesis as, and second is uh, it improves insulin sensitivity let's uh, see third third is it decreases triglycerides and now uh, let's say how it uh, uh, does um, we have such enzyme acetyl coenzyme a uh, carboxylase and um, uh, metformin decreases action of this um, enzyme uh, decrease acc and it causes uh, decrease fatty acids and triglycerides um, so less fatty acids and triglycerides are um, produced and it means less triglycerides in the blood it means less triglycerides in non-adipose tissue now let's say what means uh, less triglycerides uh, in non-adipose tissue for example we have muscle right and generally in normal conditions in muscle we have no fat but if triglycerides are high in the blood or if person is obese, obese uh, fat starts depositing uh, tissues where is not uh, fat adipose tissue for example in the muscles uh, it starts depositing in the muscles for example uh, and in the muscle it uh, causes intoxication and it causes uh, inflammatory reactions and decreases uh, sensitivity of insulin receptors so if fat fat is deposit deposited in muscle it decreases insulin sensitivity uh, because insulin receptor phosphorylation is increased so insulin receptors loses its uh, function so fat in non-adipose tissue is not good that's why it's important if we have less fatty acids and less triglycerides in the blood it means less fats in non-adipose tissue it's also very important action uh, of um, metformin and let's now let's talk about for force um, action it's uh, glucose absorption um, in uh, in intestines uh, metformin decreases glucose absorption um ab absorption uh, in intestines and how how it doing uh, we have alpha glucosidase such uh, enzyme 
uh, in our intestines and this alpha glucosidase um, uh, alpha glucosidase uh, is important for uh, uh, important to reduct uh, to complex carbohydrates to simple carbohydrates so uh, metformin metformin um, decreases activity or inhibits uh, action of alpha glucosidase so uh, in in the intestines less uh, complex carbohydrate converted to simple carbohydrate so glucose absorption is slower so metformin slows glucose abs absorption in intestines it's also very important and now let's touch uh, let's touch AMPK it's very important that's why uh, I separately touch uh, AMPK what is AMPK and uh, what functions it has and how metformin uh, acts on AMPK so we already said first was uh, metformin uh, indications it's for diabetes uh, second uh, it decreases gluconeogenesis third it increases insulin sensitivity third um, uh, it it decreases triglycerides and fourth uh, it decreases glucose absorption in intestines also so now let's uh, let's touch why is so important um, why is so important metformin and why it's uh, so common prescribed drugs and why so many people intake metformin uh, we had a huge observational study in 2014 and according to the study uh, one group uh, intake metformin and they had diabetes second group was people without diabetes and they don't intake uh, metformin um, and gr in group of metformin all causes of mortality was low so in group of uh, metformin so people who intake metformin had lower all-cause mortality lower cancers lower cardiovascular disease lower uh, degenerative disease so people who intake metformin even they have type 2 diabetes they have lower risk of cancer they have lower risk of all-cause mortalities compared to people who don't have diabetes and don't uh, intake metformin of course and um, also it's very important that um, uh, there is huge study name is time uh, this study name is time and it will end in 2024 and we will have more comprehensive uh, information about uh, metformin metformin how act uh, metformin on uh, longevity uh, cancers and uh, on chronic diseases so uh, we also waiting for 24 uh, to finish this uh, study which is called time it will be huge uh, study and i think uh, results will be very promising now let's touch ampk uh, we already said several times that metformin increases ampk activity uh, I, ampk uh, also known as AMP activated protein kinase um, it's 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 uh, it's enzyme and uh, what what it, it do 
Um, we all know that uh, we get oxygen, we release uh, CO2, uh, and uh, e energy is generated in our body. Also, uh, after this process, uh, it's called Krebs cycle, and after this process, we get energy and uh, energy in a form of ATP. And um, metformin, metformin is inhibiting ATP. ATP production in mitochondria. Uh, metformin is inhibiting decreases uh, ATP production in mitochondria. It means uh, metformin creates environment like we exercising creates environment like we fasting this en er environment what uh, metformin is creating looks like fasting and looks like exercising uh, when we exercising also mitochondrial ATP production is decreased when we fasting also ATP production is decreased uh, and to compensate this ATP decreased ATP production, uh, organism starting uh, to increase AMPK. AMPK is like emergency. AMPK um, uh, increases. Uh, uh, AM, when AMPK increases, more glucose in the cells, more energy in the cells, uh, glycolysis in, is increased, uh, glucose absorption by cells increases, gluconeogenesis is decreased. Uh, also, protein uh, synthesis is decreased uh, and fatty acid oxidation is increases. Uh, AMPK as you see doing lots of things. Uh, increase glucose absorption by cells, um, increase glycolysis, so uh, organisms are starting fuel glucose more better and it absorbs glucose more better gluconeogenesis is decreased and uh, fatty acid oxidation is increased uh, fatty uh, acid oxidation means less fat in the body and less fat in the blood and it's only good uh, that's why AMPK is important and um, a scientist thinks that uh, this this uh, characteristic of metformin that it can increase AMPK means also anti-aging property of metformin and uh, metformin can have anti-aging property uh, and uh, some say that it's even reverse aging process uh, metformin also has antioxidant activity anti-inflammatory activity and anti-cancer action uh, antioxidant activity uh, is independent of this uh, effects we already said and uh, it also can be considered as anti-cancer action and anti-inflammatory uh, action also means that it decreases risk of chronic uh, chronic uh, diseases like heart disease neurodegenerative disease uh, and uh, metformin has anti-cancer action especially it decreases risk of uh, cancer like uh, hormonal cancers uh, prostate cancer breast cancer uh, ovarian cancer endometrial cancer like this 
but also we have some studies according to them um, metformin has anti-cancer activity in case of lung cancer and colorectal cancer also and our last so, last story uh, it's about um, adverse effect of um, uh, metformin uh, adverse and side effects uh, most important but rare um, adverse effect is lactic acidosis uh, lactic acidosis develops if person has liver failure or uh, kidney failure if person has uh, liver or kidney disease uh, he or she should be very careful uh, and she or she should control uh, li liver and kidney functions when uh, intake uh, metformin so lactic acidosis is important because it can cause death but it's rare it's not common it's rare but it can uh, some cases nausea vomiting abdominal discomfort and such uh, mild symptoms can also occur it's it's not serious side effects and it subsides over time uh, and the person can start lower dosing of uh, metformin and then increase gradually um, common prescribed dose is uh, 500 uh, milligram twice a day or um, uh, 840 uh, milligram uh, uh, per day uh, that's common prescription in a uh, mild uh, uh, insulin uh, resistance or mild cases uh, but uh, it depends on current condition and according to this uh, doctor will make decision also for people who intake metformin for long period of time he or she should intake b12 vitamin because a uh, metformin decreases b12 in the body so it's very important also let's summarize now let's let's summarize Metformin is one of the most prescribed drug. It decreases gluconeogenesis. It increases insulin sensitivity. Um, it decreases triglycerides. It decreases glucose absorption from intestines, but it increases glucose absorption by cells. Um, primary action of uh, metformin is increase AMPK activity uh, it has antioxidant anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer action and most common side and adverse effects are lactic acidosis which, which can be um, um, uh, fatal uh, sometimes uh, and, and more frequently uh, mild side effects occur such as nausea vomiting and abdominal discomfort and if you intake um, uh, metformin prolonged period of time you should intake vitamin b that's all what i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you uh, thank you for uh, your watching uh, if you like my videos please uh, subscribe my channel and thumbs up my video uh, thank you very much. Bye for now.